you for joining me today. We're going to talk about two more differentiation rules. The first differentiation rule we want to talk about is the constant multiple rule. Now you've had the constant rule. This is slightly different from that because what we have here is we have um, maybe one of, we want to find the derivative of a constant times another function. So the way we're going to find this derivative is the constant stays a constant multiplier and we just find the derivative of the function. So for example, if we had g of x being 4 times x cubed. The way we find the derivative of this function is the 4 is a constant multiplier, so I'm going to keep 4 as a constant multiplier. I am then going to find the derivative of the remaining function, so the derivative of x cubed. And we saw previously, the way you find the derivative of x to a power is the power becomes a constant multiplier and you decrease the power by 1. So here, I'm going to simplify by multiplying 4 times 3 and I get 12x squared. So here, we were actually using two rules. The new rule is the constant multiple rule, but in the example, we also used the power rule. Thank you for joining me. If you're not having fun, remember you're not doing it right.